All right, well, I just got back from some programs up north, actually, so this is perfect timing. You want to put her back first? Oh, yeah, we can put her back first. Okay, well, um, we'll do that, and you can explain on the way. Okay, so got back, unloaded snakes, and then we heard, I think, Haley and Abby had discovered our Monitors laid eggs! Well, the first thing I have to do is finish putting all the animals away from the program, so there you go, Shelby. Thank you for your assistance in teaching kids about reptiles. We open in like 10 minutes to the public, so we'll see what we can do in 10 minutes. I gotta see for myself. So this is, as you can see, our Aki monitor exhibit in the zoo. We have a beautiful pair of red Ackies in here, and we haven't really introduced them to the channel at all. We were in such a rush to get all the animals settled in before we opened for grand opening that... Oh. You see her? Oh, there she is. Oh, she's still scratching. Do you think it's safe to go in there, or should we wait? Um, we can probably pop it open and look. Should we'll, we'll quick peek? Yeah. Okay. Hi, girl. Do you have eggs? Oh, sure Aww. enough. There's an egg. Oh, there's some more eggs. Oh, okay. Well, I see at least six. We're gonna leave her be. We were noticing a lot of breeding behavior yeah. with this pair. He, he was getting his job done they, quite frequently in front of people. They are not shy. We actually had a mom complain to us because they were locked up in front of her 14 year old daughter and she was upset about that. But it's a circle of life. I'm sorry. Nature. It happens in nature and it's a zoo. We can't, we can't control that. So anyway, now we have eggs. Mm -hmm. So this is what happens when, when that happens. We are going to give her some time to finish laying though because we don't want to interrupt her during this very important process She might be done. She might not be but we're gonna wait till she comes out I think and then we'll go in and we'll see how many eggs she lays Well, it's been like all day and yep. zoo is closed now the Zoo is closed now So she has had plenty of time to lay eggs and I am positive she is done I haven't seen her like scratching like earlier throughout the day We were keeping an eye on her and in that little gap underneath the brick She was like scratching you could see her foot digging so I knew she was still laying for a little while I'm just glad that she used this awesome lay box that our amazing staff built for her We kind of retrofitted this brick which is hollow inside. Well, I'll show you in a second. We're gonna look for eggs first Hi are you just digging to dig? Maybe I'll collect what she has so far. Yeah, she's kind of spread them all over the place. You have to take care of your babies better than this girl. She looks good. She was yeah. trying to eat you earlier. I know I saw at least, was it five or six earlier? I thought there was six. I thought so too. Oh, here's one. Oh, it's just like an Easter egg hunt. Okay, so we have- You wanna take the thing out? Yeah, I could do that. <sighs> That might make it a little easier, and I can show you what we did with it. Oh, Our hole. employee Haley cut this hole in the back that's actually in, it's facing the back of the enclosure, so customers or visitors when they come into the zoo don't even see it at all. Yeah. They just see a brick from the front, but she went in, I assume from this, or maybe or she under. just dug underneath. Oh, there's a cricket. Look. I'm just gonna like sift through this, because I think she might just be digging to dig, or to forage or something. We're gonna find these eggs to salvage them, and then we'll probably check tomorrow to see if she does lay any more. Hey girl, did you lay your eggs? Let's see, we have five, so we need at least one more. This is assuming she didn't eat any of them. Yeah, too. that's true. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. There's oh, one yeah. behind that too. Seven. I think the normal clutch size is like four, oh, eight? Jeez. Well, hopefully that one died. Oh, none of them are probably at their original. Oh yeah, it's within 24 <clears throat> hours, so the uh, embryo hasn't attached to the side or anything yet. She's like, what are you doing? Yeah. I'm supposed to dig here. <laughs> She's pretty, pretty do like not handleable, but she's cool with people being well, close to handleable. her. Well, she's handleable. She kind of nipped me once, but that wasn't. Yeah, that was your fault. That was probably just my fault. More? The male, on the other hand, he's not handleable. No, he's not. We learned that the hard way. So basically, what we did once we saw them locked up in this enclosure several times, again, they were not very shy about it yeah. at all. We uh, looked up kind of what they prefer for a nesting material, which is basically just eco earth, coconut coir, yeah, and sand mix. So we piled that up underneath their lay brick, I suppose, to make a lay area for her. And I'm really, like, happy that she used it. Yeah, so just we kept just, it a little bit more yeah, moist. Yeah, we kept it moist. We sprayed it down once a day. So she approved. And she's still down there, which is good, because I'm going to leave now. And she can go back under there if she wants to lay more eggs. she get fed today? Yeah. Okay. Good. But I can't imagine that there's more eggs in her. No, that's a lot of eggs for a little Aki. They and look she, good, too. A couple of them are really, really squishy. So I don't know with how deflated they are. Those are gonna make it, yeah. but we'll see. Incubate till there's no debate. Exactly. We're gonna bring them back and set them up. 
Okay, I'm gonna like set the eggs here for now. They're so covered in sand. I don't think I'm gonna be able to write on them. Yeah, like, these guys are uh, pretty sandy. Hopefully yes. that doesn't do anything to like the pores or what anything. But yeah. that's what they lay in in the wild, so. Yeah, I mean, we looked it up and uh, the sand and coconut coir is what they recommended. So they come out, I'm sure a little sticky or a little wet. So they probably just stuck to everything. And then with her rolling them all around, they just got coated in sand yeah. and coconut coir, but mostly sand. Okay, so we've got our container. We're gonna use as a, an egg box. I'm gonna put some perlite in it. Emily's gonna try doing it like a pro. I'm gonna mix it in the container. Look at this huge bag of perlite we bought earlier this spring, thinking we would need it all for all the clutches we thought we'd have in 2021. And then there's still like more than half of it left. So that's okay. We're using it later in the year. So this works. Also for anyone wondering, ingredients. As long as it says 100% perlite, you are fine. Yeah, we got that at Home Depot, I think it yeah, was. Don't get anything that has fertilizers in it. Oh gosh, yeah, That's definitely really avoid the fertilizers. Okay, I'm gonna try to be a pro and try <clears throat> to get the perfect ratio Let's see first this. try. Don't screw it up. Not too much. You think that was too no, much? I'm kidding. I think that's a good amount. Let's see, I'm gonna mix it. Gonna mix it up. I bet it's not enough, honestly. Well, we'll see. Well, the nice so. thing also with perlite is if you do it deep enough, this whole bottom can be water because the eggs are on top. You can treat it like a drainage layer of yeah. a bioactive. Okay, so that to test it, good. you wanna be able to clump it and it should keep the shape of the clump and uh, you should be able to squeeze it without it dripping. I'll do those two tests. Does it clump and maintain its shape? Yeah? For the most part. Okay, but does it drip? It does not! First try! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. It's like I've done it a few times yeah. before. All right, so I'm gonna flatten this out and just like snake eggs, and we may have done some impromptu googly on this too because we weren't planning on ackee eggs right now. It sounds like you just incubate them in perlite very similarly to snake eggs. So we are going to make little divots here for each of the eggs. The only thing they're saying is make sure the divoted ones here, if these three are on the outside. Because oh. apparently there's more humidity outside where the holes are. Okay. And there's on the inside. Why would there be more humidity where the I holes are? I think because like condensation appears on the outside. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, the outer ones, we'll put the, the dented in ones yeah. so that they can re-fluff, yep. reabsorb some moisture that they probably lost just by being Sitting. the first ones laid, maybe? All right, we got that first guy in there. Yeah, that one's really indented. That's so it. I'm hoping that it puffs back out. That'd be really nice. This one, on the other hand, leg. looks really good. It looks white. It's very, like, taut, I suppose. It's like a very full water balloon, so that's a good egg. It's not yellow at all, so I think that one's gonna be fertile. Put you right in the middle. You can kind of tell it's not yellow. Yeah, I mean, compared to this one, this one in comparison, it might be hard to see on camera, but that one yeah. looks a little bit more yellowy to me, yeah. so that one might not be fertile. Who knows? It's also like not perfectly round, it's a little bit lopsided over here. That's another sign of a slug or an infertile egg, even with Aki monitors, but that's okay. We'll incubate it anyway and find out. Here's another really indented one. Mm -hmm. Oof. Okay, that one we'll put along the edge like they recommend. This one's kind of in between. It looks good, but again, it's a bit it's a bit squishy here. So we'll put you there. They're so small. They're very tiny. Like the full snake eggs where they're huge. Yeah, even sometimes hognose eggs are bigger than these. Another dented one. Wow, that one's like really concave. Yeah. I really hope these reinflate. Here you go. Give you the best odds. Well, we'll check on tomorrow, and if they are not inflated, we'll throw some wet paper towel over top. Of them. Yeah, we can always use that. That trick. This one looks good though. Look at that. that. Super white. Wow. Even on the end there where you can't see sand stuck to it. That's a nice looking egg right there. That's a nice egg. That's I really a... like that egg. <laughs> That's a nice egg. I like that egg. All right. Last one right here is also a good looking egg. A little bit squishy, but still pretty, pretty inflated. And there we go. Mm. All of our little ackee eggs. Oh Those gosh. two are probably going to hatch. Whoa, that one's not so great. Are you boosting other spirits? Except yeah, for that except one. For, except for that one. <laughs> except for that one. You're not gonna live. All of you other ones look fantastic, though. Yeah, all the other though. ones look great. <laughs> I hope that one makes it now, just to prove you wrong. <laughs> Let's see, can I even draw? Oh, yeah. yeah, I can draw a little bit. I'm basically drawing on sand. I guess I'll just kind of do a little tap a tap of there. That one has a C. <laughs> and then we've got a little line there. This one's covered in sand and good egg. Well, didn't your mom, when you went to the beach, she just kick sand at you until you were covered in sand? That's what my mom did. You had a rough childhood, yeah. I'm just learning. I mean, this is, isn't this every childhood? Sure. Getting rolled around in sand by your parents? Oh, no, my siblings would bury me in sand. Oh. You probably deserved it. Yeah, <laughs> probably did. All right, eggs are set up. Our first egg. 
Jackie eggs. Oh my goodness, wasn't even like planning on this. This is such a great surprise. One, seven, 22. Who else is getting eggs in January 7th? Yeah, it was this morning, negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit and schools were closed because of how cold it was, yet we're getting Aki eggs yes, in yeah, our we zoo. Have eight Aki eggs here. Yeah. Wanna put them in incubation? Yeah, let's put them in incubation. Okay, we have to really travel far for this. Oh gosh, yeah, I've gotta bring oh. them all the way okay. to the other I need, end of the I room. need to take a break. <sighs> Okay, oh so there it is. This is my the old chicken incubator. Old school incubator that we incubated our first couple bull snake clutches yep. in a long time ago. And button quail, caternix quail, a couple pheasants. Yep, yeah, this has been yeah. well loved. Good incubators. Yeah, really. I, it sounds like incubation temperature for the Ackies is similar, if not just a little bit higher or warmer than the snake eggs we're currently incubating. So we're just going to simply put these on the uppermost level where it is a couple degrees warmer than the snake eggs that are in here? No, I've only shown Patreon backers what's in here. Oh, that's right. So I'm not gonna say what's in here. It's gonna be a surprise. What's yeah, incubating look, look, in oh, there? It's not, it's not labeled. Only two good eggs in there. I wonder what it is. Whoa. Yeah, only Patreon backers know what that is. But yeah. everyone will eventually once they hopefully hatch. Hopefully hatch. Aki eggs have been added. And I think we're gonna check back tomorrow and see how those deflated looking eggs are doing. And if they haven't reinflated and, you know, absor absorbed enough moisture to bounce back out, we're gonna try a little paper towel trick to, to help them out a little bit. So Perfect. we'll check back in tomorrow. Have a good night's sleep, little eggies. The eggs have been sitting overnight, and actually it's nighttime again. They've been sitting for about 24 hours. So we're gonna take them out, check on them. Hi, eggies! Oh, uh, uh, they look about the same. Yeah, I don't see any change. Yeah, I don't think they've really inflated. The ones that were inflated still look good, which is good, but the ones that were kind of deflated still look kind of deflated. So we are going to show you the paper towel trick, which is essentially taking a folded up piece of paper towel and wetting it with dechlorinated wa water. This has got to be pumped first. There we go. And then you just simply lay this over the eggs. I'm gonna try to kind of dome it so it doesn't rest on the eggs themselves, but just create a little pocket of high humidity in there. And that'll help them kind of reabsorb water and plump back up. Okay, all of the eggs are covered in damp paper towels. And although it might not be a part of this video, we're gonna just keep a close eye on them and remove those paper towels as soon as those eggs reinflate. So uh, I do want to talk to a very specific Aki monitor though. Well, there she is. Carol. Carol, how did you fit eight eggs inside of you? You're supposed to only have had like six. What was it? Four to six was an average clutch size for the uh, first, so? for a first timer. Uh, Doesn't like you. Hi, hi, sweetie. Oh, look at her. She's so alert. Okay, we're gonna have to give her extra foods because she, she looks good. She definitely feels uh, empty. So I don't, don't think there's anything in there. And my goodness, you are very attentive. Okay. She also looks like she wants to eat you. Yes, she does. Oh, there's a slug here, like oh. an in infertile egg slug. It's oh. just like a little jelly bean. We ever check down there to see if there's more? Not yet today. Are there more down here? Carol, did you leave us more eggs? Um, that was kind of how I left the pile yesterday, so I don't yeah. think she's been down here again. No, that looks like that's it. I don't see any more down there. All right. Well, here's proud mother. Proud dad is hiding behind this plant. He's not as friendly as she is, so I'll just let him stay in there. Oh, he's angry. So you get to help me with the end of this video. Well, we will keep you all posted, and if, if and when her eggs hatch, which have got to be fertile with how uh, frequently they are locked up in this enclosure, we will make a video on when the eggs hatch. And we have a bunch of little baby Aki monitors in here. Where are you gonna go? I don't know where she's going. Well, thank you again for watching today's video, and thank you as always to our very generous Patreon backers for your amazing support. I think she might want to. Do you want to put yourself away? Oh, let's see. Let's see if she'll crawl back into the Oh, oh. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Wow. Thank you for watching. We'll keep you posted on baby Aki monitors. And we'll see you next time.